Welcome to this episode of Real Chemistry. We're going to actually go through and classify different substances as pure, as mixtures, as heterogeneous, as homogeneous, as elements, or as compounds or molecules. And so this is a challenging problem type because often you're given the name of something and you don't even know what it is. Or if you do know what it is in the everyday world, you don't know what it looks like chemically. And so that can make these problems very challenging. Let's take a look at the example and we'll talk about how to solve them. So this is what we're going to go through. This is it in the whole video. We're going to classify each of the following as heterogeneous, homogeneous, an element, or a molecule. Now, here's the thing, right? You know what a diamond is. But that doesn't mean you know if it's heterogeneous, homogeneous, an element, or a molecule. You'd kind of just be guessing. Maybe at some point someone's told you, hey, a diamond is X, Y, or Z chemically. And then you might know the answer right off the bat. So this is a question that can make you feel slow because somebody else might immediately know the answer because someone at some point told them what a diamond was. And you'd work. But that's just knowing some fact, right? And so the only way to be able to do this is to know something about the substance and then answer it. So what you should do is you should look it up on Wikipedia. Now, if you have to do this on a test or quiz, then obviously you are going to have to know something about those different substances before you get there. The good news is, is there's not that many examples. And once you do a few, you start to get a sense of what's what. Um, but it, it can be challenging. On my tests and quizzes, I always make it pretty clear what something is or use something that's a very commonly well-known example uh, so that this isn't too hard. So let's look this up one at a time and try to decide. So diamond. We're going to look it up on Wikipedia. And then we're going to ask these questions. Does it have a single element with no bonds? If so, it's an element. Does it have multiple elements with bonds? Then it's a molecule. If it's a mixture of multiple molecules and it looks the same throughout, we call that homogeneous. If it looks different throughout, we call that heterogeneous. So I'm going to go through each one of these on Wikipedia and we'll decide what it is. So first let's look up diamond. Ta-da, we looked up diamond. All right, diamond is a solid form of the element carbon. Oh, that's interesting. It's already told us it's the element carbon. When its atoms arranged are in a crystal structure called a diamond cubic. Now, you don't need to worry about a lot of the information on Wikipedia. What you're looking for is basically, is this an element or a molecule or a mixture? And so look out for the words like compound or element or mixture or when it lists multiple molecules. But this just straight up tells us this is the element carbon. And so diamond turns out to be pure carbon. And so that makes diamond an element. It's a pure substance because it's just one element. And it is an element. Now, some of you might say, oh, well, like, don't diamonds have impurities? Couldn't it be a mixture of things? And that's another reason these questions can be complicated, is it's frankly true that if you took your typical diamond, it would be almost all carbon, but there would be some not carbon in it because everything's a little uh, messy in the real world. But in general, you're going to say diamond's basic constituent is carbon, and that's what it mostly is. Okay, so diamond is an element and a pure substance. All right, what about glucose, B? What is glucose? Well, maybe you know, or maybe you don't. And so we can look it up on Wikipedia. Here's glucose. Glucose is a simple sugar with the molecular formula C6H12O6. Glucose is the most abundant monosaccharide. Okay, first sentence, really important. Second one, not important for your purposes. It's a simple sugar with the molecular formula. So it gives us a molecular formula. That's something to always look out for. That means it's a molecule. If it gives us multiple molecular formulas, it might mean that it's a mixture of them. You also notice that one of the things on the Wikipedia page is a drawing with all the different elements and sticks or lines between them. Those represent bonds. So that means we have multiple elements bonded together to make one molecule. It doesn't have any mixture of mixture, any mention of mixture, so we know it's just a molecule. So glucose is a pure substance, because it's just one thing, and it's a molecule. All right? Oxygen in the air. All right, here's another place where it can be challenging. You have to figure out what oxygen in the air is, right? If you just Google oxygen, it'll tell you, oh, it's an element, which it is. But what does it look like in the air? Well, after a little work, you can figure that out. So here's the wiki entry for oxygen. When we get down a little ways, it says the diatomic gas with the formula O2 is 20% of the Earth's atmosphere. So you'd have to read that whole paragraph to realize that the oxygen in the air is O2. O2, hopefully you recognize as a formula. That's saying there's two oxygens connected by bonds. And so even though it's just one thing, 
It's actually a molecule when it's found in the air. Now, this one could be confusing because you could just have read at the beginning it's a chemical element and grabbed that. But remember, the question specifically says oxygen in the air, and that is the oxygen in the atmosphere. So you may have to do a little more digging to figure out what type of oxygen you're looking at specifically. So O2 is a molecule and a pure substance. All right, what about gasoline? Again, Wikipedia gasoline, and it says is a clear petroleum derived flammable liquid that used that's used in a fuel. It consists mostly of organic compounds. So notice the word compounds and it's plural. So compound remember is another name for molecule. And it has that s on it so it's plural. So it's made of multiple compounds. So that means it's a mixture. So this is our first mixture we've looked at. Now look at it, here's a picture of it, or you can imagine gasoline as you pump it, if you've ever pumped it into a container that you can see. Uh, and does that look the same throughout or different? Well, it looks the same up here as it does down there. So it's a homogenous mixture. So it's a homogenous mixture. All right, what about soil? So let's look at soil. Is a mixture of organic matter, minerals, gases. So it just straight up tells you it's a mixture. And that's not surprising because when you think about soil, which you can readily picture in your mind, there's a ton of crud in it, right? You got rocks and dirt and mud, all different types. And it looks different up here than it does down here. So this makes it a mixture and a heterogeneous one. So soil is a heterogeneous mixture. Uh, so, for some reason, that yellow one says homogenous. That's just totally false. <laughs> it's heterogeneous. Now, uh, you could make the case in some instances that soil could be homogenous. For example, if you got very nice, pure soil, it could look the same in every spot. So, there could be some differences, but the example we looked at, the picture we looked at, is definitely a heterogeneous mixture. Okay, lastly, air in your room. That one can take some work to Wikipedia, because air in your room is not going to show up on Wikipedia. But what is the air in your room? It is made of atmosphere. So let's look up what the atmosphere is made of. So the atmosphere of the Earth is a layer of gases, known as air. Cool. And now, if we look down at the beginning of the second paragraph, it says it contains 78% nitrogen, 20% oxygen, and 1% argon, and 4% carbon dioxide. Okay, so those are different things. It's a mixture, right? Multiple things are there. And... When we look around in your room, right, look just at the gas, not at the things behind it. The gas looks the same everywhere you look. And so that makes the atmosphere of the Earth a homogenous mixture, a homogenous mixture. And do remember that soil should be heterogeneous. All right, so that is how in practice we can go through a list of substances and figure out what they are. Hopefully now that you've done it and you've wikipedia some, you can begin to look at substances and in some cases know what they are even without looking it up on Wikipedia. All right, if you have any questions, let me know below. Thanks for watching.